Speaking of adapt or die, a uh, final story for tonight uh, is a story that uh, was reported by Jennifer Kingston on Axios. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the little starship robots. Have yeah. you seen those? Do you know no. what I'm talking about? Let me show them on the screen. I have a I have a photo from the story on Axios. See that little thing? It looks like a cooler with a flag. That's a starship. Yeah, that's a starship robot. Now they have these in the UK and they've been working and running around. And this is uh, um, a remotely piloted, sort of aut sort of autonomously driven little is device. It full that of beer, it, it, it is full of whatever the, the 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 company puts in it and brings it to your house. Medication, pizza, beer. Yeah, <laughs> nice. like, pizza and beer ammunition who knows uh, <laughs> what could be in it so here's the thing though uh, and the point of the, the story isn't so much that these things are coming we've heard about amazon drone deliveries which are still the dumbest thing on the planet but we're going to talk about it i'm sure uh, uh as a country not as a show um these little things obviously they they run on the sidewalks they don't run on the streets uh and what we're seeing are states that are passing laws that are very favorable to the companies that want to use these devices to deliver them and and here's what i want you to take away from this story imagine your sidewalk filled with these little autonomous robots that are going to make deliveries to happy customers who love getting things delivered um one law in Pennsylvania allows these robots to weigh up to 550 pounds and go 12 miles an hour. That would take out Granny. It it, would. It, that, that would kill Granny. Okay? Yeah, like, 12 yeah. miles an hour, I think Granny's safe. A 500-pound robot it's at 12 miles an hour? It's not being dropped on Granny. But if it bumps her, I mean, and it's okay, moving 12 yeah. miles an hour, that's double the normal that, human. That, that could uh, take out game. your walker, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Like, right. That's faster than a jog. A jog is uh, well, four to six miles an hour. If they were, if they were 100 pounds, and let's go back to when I was a teenager, I'd be flipping those things upside down <laughs> on their back and like turtles. <laughs> They'd be spinning around. <laughs> um, they would need a Paul I'm, Guzik I'm recovery sure Every mode. teenage boy is going to be one be vandalizing those things yeah why wouldn't you just kick it into the street and we've saw, we've seen that with scooters right there were a whole lot of scooters have been vandalized well i mean uh people are going to find out very quickly just like the model 3 is always recording you when you're doing naughty stuff to it uh, uh amazon's be knocking on your door mask. for amazon's be knocking on your door for flipping over their robot so uh, listening to, to our friend uh, Ed Niedermeyer's show, uh, The Atonicast, and they mm -hmm. had someone from one of the micro mobility companies on there talking about a similar issue, which was how the, the curve when scooters are introduced, how many of them are vandalized or damaged or just put in inconvenient places. Uh, and that that's a pretty short term trend for the most part, according to him. It's certainly data that served his purposes. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't know. I Here's my thing. When a private company is using a public way of access, whether it's a sidewalk or a street, and then paying nothing for it, that means fewer pedestrians can use it. That means there's an increased danger to pedestrians, especially the older ones, the disabled ones, children. Um, and we're and doing pets. this in the name. I'm sorry? And pets. pets. It might run over your dog. And pets. Yeah, well, yeah. Because it's probably trained well, to look for people, but it might not be trained for pets. It's, it's increased wear and tear on the infrastructure. Because mm -hmm. people don't weigh sidewalks 500 pounds. <laughs> are, sidewalks are not meant for 500 pound vehicles. Because honestly, that's, that's a small vehicle to be rolling on it. Um, at 12 miles per hour, they are meant for humans and for human powered um, vehicles. This is, and if we're not recouping the cost for increased wear and tear on that infrastructure by taxing these companies for using this, in addition to the loss of actual jobs, because these are, these are job replacement machines, they are meant to take the necessary human cost of running a business out of their pocket. We're eating the cost of lost jobs and also the cost of the infrastructure of the city by having them. So unless these 
<clears throat> people, creatures, companies are being hit with massive tax increases and fees to cover all of this. This is a bad idea, just in general. Also, a singular human operated vehicle is typically not allowed on the sidewalk. In most jurisdictions, a bicycle is illegal to operate on the sidewalk. Right. I will let you know that that star, star, what's called star starship? Link? Ship? Starship. That starship product is no 500 pound vehicle no 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 that yeah, yeah. i didn't mean yeah. to conflate those two yeah no, no, yeah, it's like, only about uh, 60 pounds the the thing is the starship and other companies so like Am tip over yeah, <laughs> starship and <laughs> other companies TV like amazon <laughs> have enormous amounts of money to lobby and get laws passed that are favorable to them so right now you know that current generation of starship looks like a friendly little cooler with a little flag i have a friend in the uk who every time she encounters one posts a little picture on Twitter and like she helps them get out of the bushes sometimes and stuff. I mean, those are cute and adorable, but don't think that if the law doesn't allow larger vehicles, that those won't be deployed. And again, I really want to stress this life for a pedestrian is already pretty mediocre. Our yeah. sidewalks aren't well maintained. We put all kinds of signs and crap in the middle of them. The first thing we'd block up when the when there's road work are the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. So it's already bad for pedestrians. We don't necessarily need to make it worse. I mean, do these things even give way to the pedestrians? And then, like you yeah. said, what about the Gen 2, Gen 3, when the thing is the size of a storage locker rolling down the, down, down the sidewalk? I, I mean, obviously, they're not designed to kill pedestrians. At well, least right, but, but if you're coming down the road and it's you know, the sidewalk and, and there's room for, for one person or one machine and the machine's already coming, does it wait for you to go by? Does it get in the grass or does it, I'm the machine, I was here first. These particular starships are designed not to interfere with humans. So right. if it doesn't, if it does run into a human, it will actually stop and wait for the human to get out of the way. Okay. And, and the ones but, but others, say, and, and as they get bigger, you know, obviously it would be bad PR for a 500 pound delivery vehicle to be running over 12 people on its route to uh, <laughs> deliver product. I think at some point uh, they would probably be, uh, the law would be changed and they would be charged with murder. But uh, at the beginning, you're right. Uh, if, if they get laws passed, it's going to be more difficult. But uh, there definitely should be a size and weight restriction for things that can use the sidewalk. It, it only makes sense because the sidewalk is for people. And it could be for a little cute coolers like this one is. But if you get a 500 pound monstrosity, you definitely do not want it to be on the sidewalk with people. Yeah. I mean, even if it's not going to run them over, if, if, if like I said, if the sidewalk is at a narrow point because there's a sign in the way. And, and now you've got people who have to step in the mud because the machine won't move out of their way because it doesn't want to get in the mud and get stuck. Or people who can't go off the sidewalk because yes. they have a walker or some other disability and this is their route and that's how they get to where they need to go. That Yeah, you don't want uh, A human to... powered wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah they need I to mean... make sure that they leave room for people in that situation. Absolutely. I agree. And that was my whole point in bringing this up. So Was it that Bill Gates who said they have a robot tax? Yes, he did. He talked about having a robot tax where if it's doing a job that a person would do, it should be taxed similarly so that it's contributing to society in a similar way. Um, that was a, an interesting idea, the way that he, he phrased it. I like that idea. I like that idea.